Today's episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Audible.com. Hello, my treasures. On today's very special episode of Destructoid, we'll be talking about Armville, Deus Ex, and Modern Friggin' Warfare 3! Yeah! Welcome to Destructoid. I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Happy Friday, man. Indeed. Hey, Tara, does it look like I peed in my pants at all? Um, no. Did you? No, I spilled energy drink all over, but I think it's oh. dry now. Oh, yeah. But hey, I tricked dry. you into staring at my crotch. I was so. just going to say, you tricked me in half. <laughs> Fuck you, Max Scoville. All right, let's get to the news. I'm not even going to try and segue into this because I know you guys are impatient. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of details that got leaked about Modern Warfare 3 over at Kotaku. So, here's what we know. The game will be released on November 8th this year, which seems to be the big release date for basically every big game coming out in Q4. The game takes place moments after the cliffhanger ending of Modern Warfare 2 and will allegedly tie up loose ends from previous games and feature the final moments of key characters. It's going to have 15 chapters, starting with a Russian invasion of Manhattan and ending up in Dubai. You're also going to see London and Paris and maybe someone's underpants, I don't know. Um, you take on the roles of a uh, Russian Federal Protective Services agent, SAS operative, tank gunner, and AC-130 gunner, as well as various main characters. Two new characters will debut named Sandman and Frost, members of Delta Force. And finally, there will be two new special ops missions called Survival and Mission. Uh, obviously, this is a huge game, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are really pumped about it. I've made no secret about it, but I'm, I'm kind of indifferent for realistic military shooters. Um, they've never been my thing, but I mean... The thing is, do you guys know how difficult it is to make jokes about a game like this? There's like nothing to work with. There's just nothing. Okay, here's the best I've got. You ready for it? Give it to me. Modern Wharf Air. It's a game where you go around smelling cool ocean breeze. And good God, that's not funny. Coincidentally, I got sea spray up my nose once. Not a pleasant situation. Is that what they're calling it these days, sea spray? Your turn. Moving on. In news that is sure to surprise just about no one, it looks like Sony is finally seeing some fan fallout over the whole PSN outage thing. You guys might have heard of that. Several sources are now reporting that people are already starting to trade their PS3s in. According to one person who works at a UK games retailer, quote, in the first week of downtime, we did not really see any major change in sales or trades. However, from the second week onwards, we've seen an increase of over 200% on PS3 consoles being traded in, split almost 50-50 between those trading for cash and those taking a 360 instead. It's also being reported that the majority of people trading their PS3s in for 360s, at least in the US, are what you would consider the hardcore online shooter crowd. Basically, you know, the people who want to shoot up terrorists and black ops with their buddies after work every day. Um, those are the exact type of people who are affected by this most because I guess those are the people who are playing online. So it makes sense that, that retailers are now seeing a huge flux of people pouring in to return their copy of Black Ops for PS3 or, worse yet, trading it for a 360 copy. Gasp! Mm -hmm. Well, this could mean getting a really cheap PS3 sometimes. So I guess it could, mm -hmm. if you're willing to I don't know what wait. you're going to do with it, but... Yeah. Anyway, speaking of hacking, Deus Ex Human Revolution is a game that puts a pretty big emphasis on it. You get to hack things with your multi-tools. It's all about cyberpunk espionage and... Oh, hey, speaking of Deus Ex, somebody hacked the Deus Ex and IDOS websites. All these hackers. For a brief moment, a banner appeared on both sites reading, Owned by Chippy Leet. In addition to this, the information of 80,000 registered users have been lifted, along with 9,000 resumes. So, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why you do Deus Ex. Like, of all the games... I mean, they talk about the first Deus Ex in game design classes, and the new one's probably gonna be a big cyberpunk epic. It, it just... I don't get it because it seems like the kind of game that most hackers would be into. Um, I mean, obviously I'm not condoning digital attacks on companies, but if you're gonna do it, like, why not, why, why pick up Target that geeks are really into? Like, if somebody hacked Justin Bieber's page or Fox News, I get it, but Deus Ex? <sighs> Tara, can you do the sponsor read? I'm, I'm just very disappointed. Yes. yes, Max, I'll do it. If you guys haven't heard of Audible.com, then clearly you don't watch our show enough. They're the number one provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from that can be downloaded from the internet directly to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. You can choose from books in whatever genre you like, including science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, historical fiction, and much, much more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash destructoid and you can get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. 
A personal recommendation of mine is Bossy Pants, the new Tina Fey autobiography, which has outstanding reviews so far. You can get it for 14 bucks on Amazon and wait a week and a half for it to get shipped to you, or you can go to audiblepodcast.com slash destructoid and download it for free right now. Do it. It's her reading it, right? It's her reading it, so if you like her voice, that's another plus. I do. You can even get like a picture of her and look at it while she's reading it, and then it's mm. just like... There's a picture of her on the cover of it, I guess. Day. Okay, well, the next story is one of the most ridiculous things that I've read in a long time. Are you guys ready for it? Zynga and Lady Gaga have teamed up to create a promotional neighboring farm in Farmville. You cannot make this shit up. Well, I mean, I can, but I usually have to get a few apple teenies in me first. Here's how it works. Gagaville will launch on May 17th, and players who visit it will get access to exclusive tracks from Gaga's new album, Born This Way, which I'm not that excited for, by the way. On top of that, Gaga-themed items will be available in other Zynga games, and there will also be a daily Words with Gaga contest in which Words with Friends is somehow involves Lady Gaga. I know a bunch of you guys might hate Zynga and Gaga, but you've got to admit that this is brilliant. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Zynga just checked to see what the number one common interest of all Farmville players was. And I mean, I think a lot of girls like Lady Gaga and Farmville. I don't know. I, I don't know that many girls, so. Um, but I mean, if they really wanted to tear shit up, I think that they should jump on the rights to Twilight and make the official Twilight Facebook game, you know, in time for the release of Breaking Dawn. But hey, just my crazy idea. Twilight's a little outdated now. Unless you until, until they make a new one. You until they make a new They're one. They're gonna, and it's gonna be intense. Ugh. Well, any, uh, if, <laughs> anyway, if I ever get popular enough, I really hope that Zynga makes a game about me. Max Scoville. That would get zero uh, players. Uh, yeah, nothing? No, nothing. Gagaville, though. That could that No, could seriously, work. I could have thought of that when I was drunk. Right? Like, I'm, It does sound like a joke that you would make, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's the Gaga. kind of joke that I would make. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway. Not all the way to the bank. <laughs> Indeed. So who remembers the Xperia Play phone? It's that PlayStation phone that came out a little while ago. We, I talked about it some, actually quite a bit up until its release, and then it kind of fell off the radar. And now we know why. It's because nobody bought it. If you recall, one of the phone's original selling points was that it came with PS Suite, which is a software that gives you access to all of these PS1 games that they said were going to be on there. Well, right now, Sony, Sony only has five PS1 games available for download, apart from Crash Bandicoot, which comes pre-installed on the phone already. Unfortunately, it seems that less than a thousand downloads have been registered by Sony for all five PS1 games so far. When asked about the shortage of downloads, Dominic Neil Dwyer, the head of market development at Sony Ericsson, said, quote, There's only a few at the minute PlayStation 1 titles there, and there's the whole PlayStation as a content provider exclusive to the device. The story about that, that will emerge and people will see. So First that, of all, that, that quote is, that is a, a threat. A, is that a run-on sentence? Does that even make sense grammatically? I'm telling you, I did get people. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the PS1 suite. I just, yeah, you'll. Seriously, I don't know anybody in real life who actually owns this thing. So, if one of you viewers out there owns it, please tell us in the comments. I want to. I legitimately want to know what you think of it. Yeah, I was tell Crash Bandicoot, thoughts. guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just gave away like five thousand of them this week. So, really? Yeah, at Google I.O. The more well, you that know. Should, that should account for like. Few more that should account for all of them. <laughs> oh God! Anyway, anyway, moving on from the news to movie club time. Destruct Dark movie club movie time time movie club. So, The Wizard. What'd you guys think of it? What'd you think, Tara? Did it hurt? Did it hurt? It was kind of boring, honestly. Oh my God! It's I don't know if it really stands. A bad the movie. I don't know if it stands the test of time, honestly. You have to you have to watch that movie and and look at it from a number of perspectives. You have to look at it as a movie that someone paid to make. It's like they it's like they hired someone who'd heard about video games to make a movie about mm -hmm. video games. I want to know where are these children's parents? Yeah. They're like freaking road tripping across the US in like the back of trucks. Where are your parents? And well, then the parents show up at the video game conference and they're why they were still they, there? they still can't find their kids. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. It's a weird movie. <laughs> anyway, um, we got a bunch of video reviews this week and uh, let's let's uh, let's oh, showcase a couple of those. Uh, R. Stratton, who happens to have a badass home theater set up, sent in this video and made a nice, keen observation about the young protagonists. Roll the clip! If you ever seen this movie and you're a child of the 80s and you, you know, love Nintendo, there's a lot of cool references in here, uh, I think you would like it. So, you know, give it a chance if you haven't seen it. I think the chick in the movie 
is still act acting? No, no, no. She's the lead singer of the band Rilo Kylie. That's Jenny Lewis. No shit. Yeah. Oh, she was also in the movie Pleasantville, coincidentally. No oh, shit. Okay. Well, how, there you go. Um, let's see. Brad sent in his review, which uh, he hates on the movie and calls us out for picking something shitty. Thank you, Brad. Not too good. No. Um, I don't even remember the names of anybody anymore. The, the kid, California kid, if I were to uh, see him in the street, uh, I m would have to restrain myself from strangling him after hearing all the Californians! I would suggest you pick a little better movie for um, your next your next club. Well, you're right, but the thing is, you guys need to learn how to watch bad movies, because if you watch bad <laughs> movies, then you know what good movies are, you know? I don't need a bad movie. I don't need to watch a bad movie to appreciate a good film, I think though. you do. I don't think you so. You suck at movies, Tara. I don't think so. What? Uh, You're the one who's yeah. picked two losers so far. I'm picking next week's. It's going to be good. Yeah, Eat, Pray, Love's on there. Let's go watch that, Fuck right? that. Fuck you. Anyway, um, <laughs> wouldn't be a Destructoid show review without a word from Pikachu, sent in by Butter Toast. Pikachu here. I watched The Wizard last night. There was like 10 montages in that movie. It was awesome. That is all. Uh, Pikachu has a very deep voice. He makes some good points. And our pal Swishy's discriminating eye caught a glimpse of true beauty in 1989. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Can I help you? Yeah. Well, uh, that's... That Speedo haunted my dreams last That's night. That's a really, the movie's just uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> it it's like being at your friend's house and watching his, like, stepdad argue with his, like, mom or something. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like. weird. Well, thank you again for everybody who sent in their clips. Um, if you want to find out more about what's going on down on Netflix, check out Flixist.com, where they do a feature each week on the new stuff to watch. Flixist is Destructoid's sister site. It's all about movies, and they review movies and stuff. So check it out. It's a great site. And apart from that, that's pretty much it for this Final week. Word on Wizard. You want to maybe mention I'll mention Final it. Word. Okay, so the guy who played uh, who played Lucas, the Power Glove guy. Oh. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. Yeah, he's a he's a registered sex offender now, uh, and it's not like one of those kind of gray area charges. It's for doing stuff with people under the age of eleven years old. So yeah. that part where Fred Savage is like, "You better keep your mitts off of her." That was pretty good advice, so... <laughs> that, was, that was not in the script, people. Not in the script. On that note, take it easy. I don't take know. Take it easy. Yeah. Uh, check us out on Facebook.com slash Detoid Show or on Twitter at Detoid Show. Have a good weekend, everyone. Follow her, Tara Longest. Follow me, Max Scoville. Bye-bye.